Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Noodle Film Review. Uh, today we're looking at, we're, we're back on the monsters again, and we're back on the master of monsters again. Uh, we're back on Godzilla, and we're looking at Shin Godzilla today. Now, this is quite a modern, modern film, it's a Japanese film. Now, over the last few years, the Americans have taken over the sort of, um, the... Uh, Godzilla sort of franchise, but sort of as the Toho company now sort of re got the sort of films back under their contract, they are now making a Japanese versions which I prefer because that's where the roots of the film is. But don't get me wrong, the the, the American ones I love all of them, including the 1998 one. I love them more. I think they, I just love Godzilla. I think it's fantastic. But now it's gone back over to Japan, and now this one is. It's a great and funny little movie because it's like there's so many board meetings in this film. It's incredible. Um, the film sort of starts off when they see this sort of like um, stuff in the sea, which they think is, is like a, a, a vol um, like a volcano that's erupted. There's all this red stuff in the sea. They think it's erupted as a volcano, and they think that it's like um, so they have loads of board meetings about it, what it could be, what's all this. And not too long after that, uh, uh, we, they sort of realise and see that it's a creature because a tail sort of pops out of the water and disappears again. And one of the guys that saw it, they don't believe him. But then they see it again because this creature hits land. Um, and it's Godzilla. But Godzilla at this stage hasn't grown into the Godzilla we know it's still in it's still got gills and it's still like um it's sort of uh it, it kind of it's not like a big stand-up creature it's like a flat one and it's using his little legs at the moment and you, it doesn't take too long till we see him and he looks rather strange and very very sort of um uh fake <laughs> but still very very cool it looks amazing um but then um, they have more board meetings on what to do with it and what to do because it's starting to make its way into in inland and of course being human beings what they want to do is destroy it and kill it um, anyway so God it doesn't take long for Godzilla to start evolving um, simply because he's got to that stage where he's now on land and he's now evolving so he then starts to stand up and becomes you know more upright as we Godzilla as we know and they have more board meetings about it <laughs> and um, trying to make decisions or oh, shall we attack it or oh, shall we shall we send in missiles out and all this sort of thing meanwhile it's destroying like all these towns it's heading towards Tokyo um, and it's destroying all these little towns on its way there um, and they don't know what to do and eventually they decide to um, to attack it so they go ahead and they sort of attack it and n none of their missiles have any effect on him whatsoever because we all know that Godzilla is a result of a nuclear attack um, experiments in the sea and he's he's got, got resistance to our weapons sort of thing and all it does it makes him evolve bigger and then he does his normal Godzilla thing he's on the rampage through the town and all this kind of thing and they're trying to find ways to stop it and while he's continuing to destroy the city he grows bigger and does his normal um, Godzilla death rays and stuff like that are they going to stop it or is Godzilla going to destroy it or are they going to find that Godzilla is not actually evil um, because in the Japanese ones, a lot of the Japanese ones, he's actually the villain in in the really early ones and stuff like this. And he's returned to that role in this film. So are they going to find a way to stop him? You need to watch it and find out. What do I think of Shin Godzilla? It's how Godzilla should be. That's all I can say about it. It's back to its way it should be it looks more like godzilla i mean the american uh, one in the last sort of films uh, um looked fantastic obviously the one that was in the 1998 godzilla uh, which my sad my sad my lad confirmed to me that that wasn't actually godzilla because um <clears throat> it's all down to politics the companies that own the, the franchise 
and they had to change that to Zilla, or, or um, he said because um, because now Toho now got the, the 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 rights back to it, they that's now looked upon as being Zilla, not Godzilla. But that Godzilla or Zilla looked more like a dinosaur to me, um, and this less monster. Even now he's back to his monster-looking ways, and he's got this massive tail and the scale of Godzilla is absolutely fantastic they got it right this time again because in that Godzilla he was the size of like almost just a bit bigger than a T-Rex I think but this one he is huge you know he doesn't just over um over over the big tower blocks he absolutely monstrously passed them he's absolutely massive and it's got some amazing effects in this looks really really cool but let's have another board meeting about it if you do watch it you won't stop giggling about how many board meetings that they have about they have a meeting about a meeting and then a meeting about that meeting sort of thing and there's a little little jibber jabber going on um the pluses of this edition, it looks amazing. It looks so cool. It's really good. The other fantastic thing about this edition is it's um sorry guys. It's two discs. And you have the Japanese version of the film. And you have the English version of the film. Fantastic. So you can watch it either way. I tend to watch it in the English version just because I like to see the really bad um, dubbing. I think that gives it an extra sort of like uh, B-movie and, and feel to the film. Um, yeah, when Godzilla makes his first appearance in this film, he looks strange, he looks really plasticky, but when he's the full grown, he looks amazing. Um, so, so Godzilla looks amazing. The effects are great. I can't say it's well acted because it ain't. It's really poor acted. The the the, the storyline is just like it's sub compared to the film. It's just there to make a film about Godzilla. And this came out, I think, because America had made the uh, Godzilla king of monsters and Godzilla versus Kong, and so they wanted to put their own film back out, and they took it back to its original sort of um, uh, Godzilla look, and it looks incredible. Um, I'm going to score this an amazing watch and give it a 9 out of 10. That's how good it is. It's a 9 out of 10 film, guys. Godzilla. You're thinking, what? A, a silly monster movie? It's not. It's really cool. Please, watch it. It's. I don't think it's very expensive to buy. Um, but saying that, um, since the new film's come out, is it Minus Zero, whatever it's called? Um, or Minus One, something like that. Godzilla's now become popular again. And the films are sort of like going out of stock quick. Um, so if, if you are after this, pick it up. Because um, I can see it going, like being deleted and in, it being expensive. But it's a cool, cool movie. If you've seen... The new one, you will probably love this one because it's on the same sort of vein. It's really, really cool. Not as strong a storyline, but it's on the same sort of vein where the Godzilla look looks like and things like that. Really cool. Shin Godzilla, 9 out of 10. Any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below what you think of it. Such a cool film. Really, really is. Um, I've been going through my Godzilla films lately. I've been... I've just forgotten how much I absolutely love Godzilla. Uh, I really, and I think it's because I've been having some um, box sets from uh, Arrow, like I had the uh, uh, Diamante box set, and I had like the uh, G uh, uh, Gamora box sets, but they don't touch as good as Godzilla. And, and I love King, King Kong; he's fantastic. Um, but I find King Kong a bit more of a sad sort of story. I have to be in the right sort of frame to watch that because he's more of an animal than a monster, isn't he? Whereas Godzilla's a monster. So if he's a good guy in it, that's cool. If he's a bad guy in it, that's cool. I, I like both. It's really cool. Um, really cool film. Guys, thank you so much for watching this review. Um, it is a horror film. Um, I cast Godzilla as horror films because they're monster films. And they're, they're fantastic. Really, really cool. But these are monster films everyone can watch. This does have a 12 certificate. 
Um, there's very few Godzilla films that have got a certification that's higher um, than 12. They're more PGs than U's, but they're still really cool. Until my next video, check out some horror channels for me. Check out Horror Hands, Horror Geek, Man V Film, RS Designs, Pizza Well. I am the Ice Lord, Cat Watches Horror Movies, and Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House. And a massive shout out to my Godzilla love son, Lemon Lord. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I see you all soon.